Hello, my name is Borshika Rabin, and I am a member of the National REAIM Workgroup. I am here today to address a common question we receive, which is often a source for confusion for those intending to use the REAIM framework. And the question is, how do the practical robust implementation and sustainability model or PRISM and the REAIM framework fit together? Are these different frameworks? Do we intend to replace REAM with PRISM? This brief video intends to clarify these issues. PRISM or the Practical Robust Implementation and Sustainability Model consists of two main parts, the PRISM contextual domains and the REAM outcomes. The PRISM contextual domains include multi-level considerations for the characteristics of the intervention including the perspectives of stakeholders from both individuals and settings, the characteristics of diverse recipients, the implementation and sustainability infrastructure, and the external environment. As we consider multi-level perspectives, individual stakeholders include patients, community members, caregivers, and families. At the setting level, stakeholders include clinicians, leaders, and administrators. The implementation and sustainability infrastructure is one of the most important domains in the PRISM and is concerned with issues such as the resources available to support the initial and ongoing delivery of the intervention. We expect that the implementation and sustainability infrastructure will dynamically change and it should be evaluated on an ongoing basis. And finally, the external environment includes factors such as policies and regulations, financial incentives and disincentives, clinical practice guidelines, and historical considerations. At the most basic level, and as indicated in the figure, PRISM helps us identify and describe multi-level contextual predictors of the REAM outcomes and make connections between context and critical outcomes of reach effectiveness, adoption, implementation, and maintenance. To take us to an even more integrated level, I am sharing a second figure here that is known as the REAM 2.0. This visual includes the traditional REAM outcomes in the center, but expands our original REAM framework with a much broader appreciation for implementation science complexities. As you can see in the figure, the PRISM contextual domains fit with both the intervention, program, or guideline in the center of this figure and the planned implementation strategies. This fit or alignment then determines outcomes on the various REAM dimensions. So to summarize briefly, PRISM is a contextually expanded version of the REAM framework, which includes the REAM outcomes and multi-level contextual domains. PRISM emphasizes that contextual factors influence diverse outcomes and suggests that the better your intervention aligns with the PRISM contextual factors in your study or program, the better your REAM outcomes will be. I hope that this brief summary clarifies most of your questions about how PRISM and REAM fit together. For more details, check out the Learn section of the website about PRISM, as well as recent publications in the Papers, Talks, and Blogs section of the website. I also encourage you to periodically check back on this website, as we have several products and resources in progress to help you apply PRISM and REAM.